Hello YouTube, welcome to the newest part of my playthrough of Crime Boss Rock hey City, but before we get started here, I want to thank today's sponsor for this video. Today's sponsor is Galaxy Lamps, and Galaxy Lamps are really cool lamp projectors that can light up any room and create a lot of really cool effects. As you guys see here, when I lit up the ceiling on my living room and also my bedroom, you can also decrease the stars, increase the stars, you can speed them up and change the colors all using the Galaxy Lamps app, which is very simple and easy to use. And this week, until April 10 at midnight MST time, Galaxy Lamps has an Easter sale with 50% off and an extra 20% off. On top of that, out of all purchases made in this Easter sale, 10 random winners will be chosen to get a free new Galaxy Lamp that's coming out still on the website that's valued at close to $200. So it's for 10 random winners that make purchases between now and and the end of this uh, Easter sale. Use my link, galaxylamps.co slash theprofessional, which I will have in the description and the top pinned comment if you want to get your own Galaxy Lamp right now. Hello YouTube, how is everyone doing? It's Professional here. Welcome back to my playthrough of Crime Boss. But let's continue from where we left off here. Let's see, what do we got here to do now? Okay, I wanted to attack the cons now. You know, take one of their territory since we still have a treaty with Helos gang. Okay. We're literally gonna throw everything at them here. Sending 31 soldiers in, pretty much declaring war. Khan's riders carry out widespread violence, including drug dealing, trafficking, stolen guns, uh, gun running, uh, goods, gun running, extortion, and prostitution operations. Land war, just like the gridiron. Cons, drunk ass punks. I ain't worried. Wow, we really, um... Yeah, we... We really outnumbered them on this. I didn't realize how weak the cons were. Okay. Here comes that ass clown captain of theirs. You keep knocking them on their asses till they don't get up. Okay, regain some health here. There we go. See ya, bitch! She wouldn't want to be ya! woo Yeah, baby! It's ours! Hell of a contest! Sorry, fucking sacks of shit. Can't fuck with our crew. Period. Okay, um, we lost six soldiers, but we took down 11 of their guys. Took one of their territories here, too. Um, at least 10 army soldiers are needed. Okay. Well, we're probably, um, what we're probably gonna do at this point is we're probably gonna, um, probably end the day here. Um, Okay, wait until tomorrow. Day six. Khan is filling his coffers, sir. He's smuggling cocaine from the island. Get eyes on the Coast Guard. Yes, sir. We'll take his boat. No, don't. Don't take him down yet. But that, that will stop him. No, let him get confident. Uh-huh. We will take him with a big load when he is deeply out of pocket. Oh, smart. Yes, that will halt his troops. Yeah, you guys, I noticed you guys said in the comments that Chuck Norris sounds like an AI. I just find that a little bit weird. Um. Okay. Let's see here. 
Soldiers to hire? Okay. Okay, we'll take 15 soldiers with us on this attack. Um, take another one of the const, um, uh, thing. We want to expand our business here a lot. Expand our empire. This time, baby, let's fuck them up. Cons, drunk-ass punks. I ain't worried. This is our turn! Trespassers get their asses trounced! Whoa, what the? Go before we sleep. They're bringing in the big gun! Defense! Defense! Okay, where's that captain? Is that him? The reason I'm doing this big attack on the cons here is because I know that Hilo isn't going to attack us because we have a treaty with him um, uh, for some time. And the second that treaty ex expires, we're going after Hilo and wiping him out. Oh, sorry, fucking sacks of shit. Can't fuck with our crew. Period. Okay. There we go. Expanded there. Did pretty well there. Okay. Okay. The um The jewelry store right here should have loads of valuables stashed, and it's um it's quite low risk for us. Okay. Right. This store holds assorted jewelry and loose stones. Nothing exceptional, yet a nice bulk value. Bag as much as possible and bolt? No time to be picky. Casey will sort it out. Pull them pistols and swipe everything sparkly. Then I send the transport for the exit. Be silent or be quick. Or be both. There may be detectors, cameras, guards, or civilian interference. Okay. Don't fucking piss on the parade. We must not harm civilians. The heat will become quite intense after casualties of that sort. Oh? Cops don't like it when you shoot people? Well, thanks for the tip. Okay, uh, rob the jewelry store. Start gathering intel, okay. Well, he says we can gather intel on the store. Okay. Go get it! Okay. Lecter, will take him with us. Want to make sure we have no, um, no incidents. Okay. So, you, you know, my impression of this game is the acting is a little bit, like, um, uh, you know, cringe, but at least the characters are still somewhat gangsters, but, you know, even though this is not, you know, that amazing of a game, uh, I'm enjoying this... I'm honestly enjoying this game more than, um, uh, more than Saints Row. Okay. Cameras. A lot of civilians. Guards. Security room's probably in the back. Yeah. 
Yeah. What I fucking tell you? Spread your legs, baby. The camera's there. Hold on. Lay down, shit heels. Just a precaution. Oh no. I keep a cool head. Damn. Okay, these hostages might be valuable later on. Okay. Here, what we got? Break the glass at this point. The fucking atomation! Hate that the end of it. Put it all in the back. Officers, en route to your location. Bobo, coming! We can make this work. We don't have everything yet, okay. Okay, dart, um. Please, I'm a mother. Second bag's failed. Got it. Yeah, my game is having like some frame tearing at, at points. Um, uh, I'm gonna have to take a look at my game yeah, again after, after this uh, right. uh, part. Uh, but okay, wait for the van. Yeah, this heist went bad really quick. Now, um, what I'll say about this is... Okay. Three team, pull back. All teams advise caution. Area is still hot. Pull back. No hostiles currently approaching. When a lot of, when a lot of robberies you happen in have... real life, though, this. you can kind of, um, uh, based on how the robbery goes, like the first step... The escape vehicle is further uh, away. You need to fight your way there. You can... Uh, Come on. You can kind of tell the robbers whether they've done this before, whether they know what they're doing. Because the thing about this is what a lot of what a lot of robbers do in real life is when they rob stores. They basically what they do is they go up to the cash register and they basically think that all the money is in the cash register, but that's not true. Most stores keep their money actually in the back in back safes. And that's what a lot of um if some if you have robbers that go for the back room immediately and try to break down the back room. They know what they're doing and they've done it before. If it's somebody that's robbing the cash register, oftentimes it's just like a, dr a drug addict. Okay, we're cleaning this place out as much as we can. Run! I have it. Specialist vehicle landing at your location. Yeah, I'm sorry about the frame tearing here, guys. Um, I gotta I gotta check my settings afterwards. I don't know why he's doing this. Uh, I have a I have a gaming PC by the way, so I'm, uh, it's a gaming laptop, but it's a good one. I can run any every game pretty much smoothly, but I'm uh, having a little bit of tearing right now. I don't know why it's happening, uh, so I, I would have to. Um... Specialist on route. Is there a safe in the back here? Oh, what's this? Uh, that's probably the panic button. That's probably what it is. Uh, Reloading. 
You have an opportunity to make them pull back. Can you see anything? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hit hostages. That brings more heat. Um. I got it. They're about to blitz. Hold tight. Get your breath. Where's fish? Bill two. Eyes up. Chopper full of SWAT on the way. Okay, Eyes screw up. it. Let's just get out of They're here. Down. Got this. Oh. Hell no! Okay, yeah, no, let's just... Mission accomplished. However, the intention on our operations will intensify. Yeah, I apologize for the frame tearing there, guys. I don't know what happened. Normally, it's, it's, it's running pretty good for me, so I'm gonna have to check my settings after this to see if there's anything I can do about that, so I apologize um, for that. Uh, but uh, basically, what I was trying to get at... Um, Great fucking job. Yes. Did re we did really good on that, um, though. We didn't get everything in the store, but we did good, though. But um, uh, what I was what I was trying to get at earlier, well, we guys. Uh, got it. Figure out what it's worth. Casey will sift through. We can use the good bits for trading down the road. I want to know. All will be itemized in your stash, boss. Yeah, so basically, um, uh, what I was, um, what I was saying was that, um, uh, when people rob stores, typically, you can kind of tell already when they come in the store, you know, what kind of robber it is, just by how the robbery itself goes. Because, like I said, most robbers are idiots, they're dumb, and they think that most of the money is actually in the cash register in the front, but that's not true. The cash register only holds the amount of money that was made in that day, and oftentimes the when the cash register actually fills up too much, the um, a supervisor or a manager will oftentimes take it to the safe in the back room, where the back room is oftentimes locked, and you have the safe, so you have an extra layer of security. So you usually have a big door, and then you have a safe back there. So if you have robbers that actually immediately, they don't even go for the cash register, they just immediately go for the back room, and they try to break the back room down. They've done it before. They know what they're doing in that case but that's just what i'm saying is that is that a lot of times these idiot these robbers are just idiots and they don't know where the where the uh where the money actually is in the store but um you know that's a precaution though you know if you if you do um if you do run a store if you run any kind of business um uh, make sure that you have like a big steel door that's like in the back some kind of door that like cannot be broken down like because if you are running a store and you have like you know just a wooden door in the back room that's a really really bad idea that's a very very bad idea if where your safe is in your store your door needs to be secure it needs to be a door that cannot be broken down it needs to be a big door you know when i um uh, when i used to work in retail you know the door that we had had like basically like steel hinges on the side and so it would automatically lock every time it was pretty much impossible to break down unless you had some some specific tools for that but that's why a lot of businesses unfortunately is a lot of mom and pop shops they make this mistake it's a really bad one for people wondering i took law enforcement that's what i studied in college but what mom and pop shops do they do a, this really bad mistakes the corporate pr places actually do better at this than mom and pop but the mom and pop shops they literally have just, they just put on a regular door. They don't want to invest in like having like a steel door or something, you know, some kind of reinforced door in the back. They're thinking, oh, you know, nothing bad is going to happen. You don't know. And even if it's a good neighborhood, even if it's a good neighborhood, you never know when a robbery is going to happen, even if it's a good neighborhood. So you, that's what you want to do. You want to protect your stuff. You want to protect, you want to obviously protect your store, protect the lives of your, your employees. That's the most important thing also. But you also want to protect your, your, your living because if they rob your store of everything, you know, your store could shut down. That's how you make a living, too. You know, so it's, um, so a lot of people, they go the cheap route. They think, oh, you know, I'm just going to put a, you know, regular door in the back room. No, make sure it's a secured door that they cannot break down. Uh, let's see here. Uh, 
The steroid black market is booming. Jupiter, a bodybuilding aficionado, along with her dad, is heavy into uh, using and dealing. Um, uh, uh, but the problems are n are not long in, in coming. What is this? Um, okay, start mission. And also, um... Listen, gal. Here is your address book. Thanks, Dad. Now, those pesky detectives are coming for you. Right here in our gym. Dad, just get out of here. They won't get the client list off me. I will take the steroid stash out the back door. Go, Dad, go! Careful now, love. The voice acting is kind of cringe. Hey, Grandpa! Leave me alone, young man. <laughs> well, well. Well, if it isn't the beef cow herself. Guess as she? Oh yeah, Phipps. This is the monster. How you doing there, sugar? Fuck you, Slim! <laughs> Feisty, huh? Listen, little lady. We just want your list. I will even make you a deal for it. No can do, shithead! You say what? Uh, we just want it. Give us the list, and all this goes away. My list, my business. Ink dick! Well then, gonna have to teach you some manners. I used to bat for the crabs. Bring it! Ah. Ouch. Okay. That's it. Nice. Puff, puff, fat Damn, this guy does so much damage to you, huh? Home run! How are you supposed it's to beat him? Is it supposed to be spinning like this? I'm getting dizzy. They are gonna pay us a little fee to keep this in the family, eh? Yeah, nice. See you around, cocksucker. Sometimes the voice acting in this game gets a bit cringe, but um... But um... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Was I supposed to fail that mission or what? Because I... I... He does so much damage to you, and you barely do anything when you hit him. Um, Jupiter has gotten beat up. Uh, so what I um, uh, what I was saying though, guys, earlier, is that is that um, there's things that businesses can do to minimize the risk of getting robbed. A lot of things the businesses can do, but the problem is, is that businesses don't want to do these things. Why? Because they're cheap. When I'm, t I'm telling you, one of the worst things that you can possibly do when running a business is going cheap on security. It's one of the worst possible things. You can really never have enough security. But um, uh, one simple thing that you can do to minimize your business actually getting robbed is to have more people working. The more people that you have working, the harder it's going to be for somebody to rob you. Because robbers know that. When they go into a store and they look around, if they've oftentimes been in the store before they rob it. Just so that they can see the layout of the store. If they see that a lot of people are on shift working, they're a lot less likely to rob that. On top of that, if your business is in like a, a pretty public place. Like if your business is in the middle of like a shopping plaza. And there's like a lot of stores there. Um, you know, your business getting robbed, it's, it's minimal at that point. If your business is like on some empty road and there's barely any stores around you, your, your, the risk increases because there's more witnesses. Um, if you have security cameras, make sure the security cameras are visible. Make sure people see the cameras. One thing that businesses do is they make a lot of, create a lot of fake cameras and they think that the fake cameras are going to be a deterrent. And basically a, a deterrent is basically this idea that a criminal sees the fake camera and they're just going to stop. They're, they're, you know, they're not going to keep going. That's just nonsense. That's just not true. Um, uh, and oftentimes, criminals will learn what cameras are fake and what aren't. When I used to work in retail, like, I'd say 70% of the cameras in the store were, re were fake. You know, the only cameras that were real were the cameras that were in pharmacy, on the cash register, and on some of the more expensive aisles. But other than that, most of the cameras were fake. And this store had millions of dollars. This was a pretty rich company that I worked for. And, you know, and I couldn't believe how cheap they were when it came to security. So, you know, simply like that, having more people on shift, having your store in a more public place, having uh, ca more cameras and also the worst thing that you can do is to have your store open 
when other stores are closing around you. Like if all the stores around you close and your store is still open for some time, that's a really bad thing that you can do. A lot of stores do this on holidays, where especially like a lot of the corporate stores, where all the other stores will close down when it's like a holiday, like Christmas Eve or something, they'll close early, but then you have this one store in a shopping plaza that's open when everyone else is closed and it's dark, it's late. You know, when something like that happens, risk of a robbery goes up. So there's a lot of factors that go in when, uh, you know, the risk of you getting possibly robbed. But the thing is, people don't think about this. I know I'm going a little bit too deep into this, but, you know, but I like to, uh, you know, when I play games like this, especially, I like to analyze things and I like to talk about stuff like that. I always try to help people out. But, uh, but yeah, it's just, I've, I've just seen so many businesses where they just go cheap. They go the cheap route. They think, oh, it's not going to happen to me. My store is in a nice neighborhood. I'm not going to get robbed. You don't know that. Even if it's in a nice neighborhood, you can still get robbed. The risk is always there. But unfortunately, people just don't take that seriously. But let's, um, uh, let's see here. Um, since we got nine guys still left, let, let's attack another con territory. Let's take that. We want to have as much money as we possibly can. Okay, here we go. Uh, oh, at least 10 army soldiers needed, so I guess we can't do that then. Um, there's a bank we could attempt to rob, it's well guarded, but the earnings could be substantial. Now for the creme de la creme. Banks! Yes, sir. I fucking love banks. Then it seems Rake is built for you. Ready to consummate that love? All day, all night, I fuck with my boots on. Holster that for the moment. One does not simply waltz into a marble arch fortress. Damn straight. It's about team and tactics. What say we try a smaller bank first? Drilled into the vault like any old bank robber? <sighs> they got computers now. Those fuckers can pop the vaults too. Correct. We try the computer first. In and out, like a breeze. A very enriched breeze. And masks? Masks? Nah. Don't be a fucking pussy. So, um, banks. Um, uh, the thing about banks, what I'll say about them is, um, expected value, 39000 What? The bank has less money than the jewelry store? Um, but anyways, what I was saying about banks is, um, uh, bank robberies, you don't really see it that often anymore, you know, you had bank robberies were more common back in the day, where you had people come in with masks and stuff like a team that would rob, I'm, it still happens to this day, don't get me wrong, but it's not as common as it used to be, because there's just so much more levels of security, this technology has advanced, it's just much harder for criminals to rob banks, which is a good thing, but, um, uh, what I will say is, um, gather intel to, uh, hire soldiers, okay, uh, what I'll say about banks, though, is that, what I was saying earlier, banks, i get out of this map here, bank robberies don't really happen that much anymore, like, you will occasionally, on the news, whenever you hear about a bank robbery on the news, you oftentimes hear about a single idiot, it's like one dumb idiot that just goes into a bank and just uh, waves around a gun, or they'll give, they'll, the stupidest thing that they do is they'll go up to the bank teller and they'll give them a note and they'll say, like, I have a bomb or something like that, and they'll say, like, um, uh, they'll say that, give me the money right now, that's the dumbest thing that they possibly do because their, their face is already on the cameras. You know, they oftentimes don't have a mask when they're even doing that. Um, so criminals that want to pull off robberies, like, you know, criminals that know what they're doing aren't drug addicts. Um, they aren't really going to hit banks anymore. In these days, criminals are oftentimes more likely to hit stores. They're more likely to hit stores, go straight for the back room, because that's easier. It's much easier going for, like, a mom-and-pop shop and taking, like, you know, thousands of dollars um, than, like, just going for a bank. And, like, and also, if you attempt to rob a bank, I believe that that's also a federal charge which is even much worse. So, you know, robbing a bank is going to end up getting somebody in prison much more than if they rob a mom and pop shop. So that's, um, uh, that's thing. So that's one thing I'm telling you guys that the games and the movies get wrong about bank robberies is they just aren't as common as they used to be back in the day. It still happen, don't get me wrong, but they just aren't as common as they used to be back in the day. Um, let's see here, rob the bank. Um, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take over another con territory here. We're going to weaken the cons even more. Um, Okay, let's attack this turf here.
But yeah, when, and I, I'm not just doing this for Crime Boss. Whenever I play any kind of crime game, I always like to analyze things and talk about things. I'm out of <laughs> Fucking war. Riders. Bunch of pussies on bikes. This is our turn. Trespassers get their asses trounced. Yeah, my guys are getting dropped. We gotta. What the? Fucking never surrender. Their captain's charging in. Take your ass out. Where's the captain? Where is he? Damn, I can't get a shot of him. Soul survive! Come on! You gotta switch up the playbook. This ain't working. He is in pretty good cover there. Kicking ass and taking names. We are the champions of the world. Here we go. Had one guy left, but we did it. Sorry, fucking sacks of shit can't fuck with our crew. Period. We took it. Nice. Um. Okay, so yeah, so we are we are growing our empire. We're doing pretty good here so far. So we've really weakened the cons. Um, uh, we've taken several of their territories, and the second that that treaty expires with. Yellow is I'm gonna I'm gonna eliminate his gang, and so this is actually a good idea because we're expanding from the top and the bottom, so we're literally um, literally gonna focus on Hilo's gang and eliminating the cons, and then we're probably gonna go after these guys here, the purple gang, um uh, afterwards because they only got three territories and then focus on the green one, um. So yeah, so um, uh, and uh, here, yeah, we're doing pretty well. So we'll wrap it up here, guys. Um, uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope that you guys enjoy the video. If you do, drop a like. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful day, guys.